The more negative news we read, the more cautious we are likely to be. The best thing to do is nothing. Permacrisis, or permanent crisis, was the Oxford Dictionary's word of the year in 2022. It encapsulates that long-lasting feeling of instability and insecurity that we've been living through. COVID, conflicts, inflation, elections, all accompanied by alarming headlines that overwhelm our time and emotions and cloud our decision-making. Good news never did sell well. We humans are typically risk adverse. The more negative news we read, the more cautious we are likely to be, especially with our finances. We are hardwired to feel the loss. It affects the primitive part of our brain that tells us to flee. So when we are living through a period of turmoil, the temptation is to do something, anything to make it stop. But sometimes the best thing to do is nothing. And nothing is exactly what we asked you, our clients, to do some two years ago. When Russia invaded the Ukraine, inflation spiked, and interest rates began the sharpest rise we've seen in generations, dramatically shifting the price of any income-yielding asset. We asked you to remain invested, and now you're starting to reap the rewards. You see, the latest turmoil had a particularly devastating effect on lower risk assets, investments that pay a high yield, which are typically considered lower risk. These dropped as much as higher risk assets, such as equities. We knew there was no question surrounding the quality of the assets in your portfolio, that the reversal was just a matter of time, and that crises are just an opportunity in disguise, which can bring substantial rewards. This is a time of opportunity to add to portfolios in the knowledge that calm calculation leads to reward. The best time to buy are periods of uncertainty when everyone else is selling. Crises aren't a new occurrence. They have been happening for as long as trade existed and well before we had such easy access to live news updates. Markets adapt, they recover. So how do we at Nedbank Private Wealth keep our cool in turmoil? Discipline. We focus on four significant pillars. Economic fundamentals, valuation, sentiment, and external market influences, geopolitics. If you're influenced only by economics or geopolitics, this can lead to buying high and selling low. If you're only influenced by valuations, this would mean you would put a significant portion of your assets in countries such as Russia or Argentina. Patience is indeed a virtue. Now, your calm calculation is reaping its reward. <laughs> <laughs>